It's time to wake up and get a life. We live in a three-dimensional world. Until now, the world of computing has been a flat world, consisting of two-dimensional imagery. Now, through the use of exclusive breakthrough technology, Park has made it possible for you to get a life. A life, where we can work and play in a lifelike world of three-dimensional reality. A life, the living monitor. Impressed? Yeah, I am. Would you, uh, put one of those in a box for me? You the lawyer? I'm Rita Dunn. Obviously no one from Nexum could be here today. I'd invite you in, but... Good luck, Mr. Jennings. I'll see you in two months. Yeah. Home sweet home. What do you think? This uh, is the exact same technology? Not the exact same technology, no. Ultimately, I decided to reconceive some of it. I, I, I never liked the way the monitor looked. And then it occurred to me, who needs it? Gentlemen, I am the future of computing. And I would like to present you with Nexum's new Freedom line of display technology. New from Nexum. Freedom is in your future. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Launch this now. Ark is not gonna last. <laughs> Who said 100% market share wasn't possible? Huh? Give me marketing oh, immediately. No, 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 no. This is far exceeds our expectation. Congratulations. Well, thank you. You understand, Mr. Jennings. You've just done in two months what we've been trying to do for three years. Sometimes it's easier if you work backwards. Cheers. No. That 
It's too bad. reached. Okay. We're now extracting his memory from the marker forward to the present. Jesus, Rita. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is dangerous enough. If this man's brain temp goes 1C above 43, he's a veg. Sunshine. Hey, how you doing, big guy? Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. All right, thank you. Take it easy. Whoa. Whoa. Slow, slow, slow. There's no hurry, okay? <laughs> That's it. Good? Oh, yeah. Good man. Hey, Mike, look at me. Look at me. Right here. <sighs> What's the last date you remember? October 19th. Uh -huh. Very good. Mike? What's the last thing you remember? Um, the Red Sox made the playoffs. Uh huh. Okay, let's uh, let's get the legal out of the way, shall we? Okay. Mr. Michael Jennings, under the terms of your non-disclosure agreement, you are considered never to have been an employee. You also understand that all your work is the intellectual property of Nexum. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I never worked here. I never saw anybody. I never was here. I got it. Is my paycheck ready? Uh, all righty. How are you feeling, Tiger? Oh, good. Now let's hear you. Uh, ready? Yeah. Zero the full eight weeks, I can heat your brain to 42.5C. I'm fine. I'm saying it. it's getting harder, Mike. I said I'm fine. You're slowing down, actually. Come on. It'd be a lot faster if you shut up. Show me what you got, Grasshopper. That's it. That's more like it. Yes! <laughs> Oh. Now, do you see how you did that? How you focused? Yeah, I focused on your face. Oh, no, you know you love me. Come uh, on. Come on. Don't be mean to the one who does everything for you. You realize you've never once asked me what I see when I erase your memory. Basically, the last two months just never happened for you. So what's to know? 20 hours a day in a clean room, ripping off one guy's idea for a computer, selling it to somebody else. You know, what'd you do the last two months? 
You know, the last thing I remember is driving in Spain in the Aston Martin. Learned to dive in Belize with, uh, what's her name? A seven stadiums and seven days trip. It's great. I mean, uh, my memories are basically highlights. It's good. It's a good life. Stuff you erase, I, uh, doesn't matter. with guys like Rathrick. He's got to have everything, huh? Well, say what you want about Jimmy. He started all calm in his garage. You'll be fine. Talk. Mingle. I don't want to mingle. Hello. I'm Michael. I'm Rachel. Rachel Porter. Is that Miss or Mrs.? Mm, that would be Dr. Porter. Doctor? Well, excuse me, doctor. <laughs> Is that all right? <laughs> what kind of uh, doctor are you? I'm a biologist. Really? Ah. Do you work for Jimmy? Mm-hmm. So it must be very top secret biology that you practice. Oh, yes. Isn't everything? Let's go. Excuse me? I mean, I'm happy to continue blathering on, trying helplessly to charm you, but I thought maybe, you know, cut to the chase and just, uh, you know, go somewhere. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Michael. I'm gonna walk over there and talk to a friend of mine you get the urge to have a real conversation, you'll know where to find me. Okay. Fair enough. It was nice to meet you. Giving up so easily? You don't believe in second chances now, do you? In my experience, I don't. Good night. Good night. Mike! Jimmy! Hey, how you doing? Good, how you doing? Good to see you. You too, you thanks look good? Oh, thanks for having me. Come back this way. Sure. <laughs> Jimmy. Ah, uh, now you're talking. Thank you. Wait a second. Isaac, disable fire protection, please. Alarm disabled. I don't think you'd look so good covered in foam, even in that spiffy suit. What's the pitch, Jimmy? I've known you long enough to know when you're trying to sell me something. What is it? Well, there was a time we were in school. We wanted to change the world. I thought we said we wanted to save the world. Well, that's semantics. What's the job, Jimmy? Can't tell you. 
other than to say that it involves optics. And you get stock options for this one, Mike. You get a real piece of the company. If it doesn't work, I get a real piece of nothing. I promise you, it won't fail. Mm -hmm. How do you know that? This is a real crystal ball? <laughs> I wish. The point is, I'll guarantee that you do eight figures. Minimum. What's the catch? The job may require a little bit more time than you're used to. How much more time? Two years. Maybe three. You're kidding. Deadly serious. Jimmy, it's impossible. You can't do it. I mean, the longest anyone's ever done is eight weeks. I know because it was me. Assuming it were possible, would you do it? Uh, give up three years of my life? Not give up. Trade. Three years in return for the rest of your life. One big paycheck. You're done. A lot can happen in three years. You blink, it'll be over. To you, it'll be two seconds, a heartbeat, then snap. You're rich beyond your wildest dreams. One big paycheck. You're done. understand that you won't be allowed to leave the grounds. You'll be assigned a residence right here on campus. All your mail will be screened, no outside phone calls, and anything you do receive will have to be inspected. Okay. I'm going to need all your personal belongings, watch, wallet, anything else you're carrying. I'm afraid nothing's allowed to be brought in. All these items will be returned to you when you pick up your paycheck. Sorry, those two. Mike, hey, you made it. Yeah, good to see you. See you too. Everything okay? Yep. So, I assume Mr. Wolf gave you all the fine print. Yeah. He, uh, he also took the last pair of sunglasses I've managed not to lose. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoa. What's what is this? It's for your memory wipe. We inject you with an isotope, migrates to your brain, lodges, serves as a marker, then when we're done, another injection erases everything back to the marker. No barbaric cooking of the brain. <sighs> All right. I got myself into. Let's go find out. Initiating blue script vector. Impressive. This used to be our smallest unit. Now it's our most profitable. Excuse me, yeah. Mr. Rethrick. May I speak with you for a moment? Hi, look around. I'll be right back. Okay. Cycle complete. Begin transmission of data.
don't give up. Dr. Porter. I guess I'm lucky you didn't use thunder and lightning. True. <laughs> okay. Well, I won't question your, your powers in the future. <laughs> Sorry, I just couldn't help myself. Well, I thought you said Marianne was on a plane today. She's planning to make the conference call from the plane today. Look. I should probably apologize for my behavior the other day. I, I get like that sometimes, and it's, I should be Careful. sorry. You are in danger of sounding like you want a second chance. <laughs> Everything OK? Yeah. Me? Say something nice. Quick, otherwise I'll forget it. <laughs> Is that little breeze for our boy here? Well, I owed him one. Now we're even. Well, be nice, because Mike's moving into the neighborhood. Oh. See you around. Okay. back out. No hard feelings. No. I want to stay. Michael Jennings, meet the other half of your team. Dr. William Decker. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. Gentlemen, let's have a look at the next three years of your lives. What happened? Michael. You're done. How long was it, Jimmy? It's been three years, Mike. How'd I do? You did good. <sighs> your money's been transferred to your account at Ready Grant and Associates. You've got an appointment there today at one o'clock. Just go home, do the paperwork. When you feel up to it, give me a call. You got a lot of catching up to do, Mike. Grant Associates, appreciate your business, sir. Well, not as much as I appreciate my business, I promise you. Okay. Good. Just sign there. All right. Great. Your personal items? Yes? You only needed four stamps. Guess I could afford the extra 50 cents. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I don't think this is my stuff. It's not? No. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what happened. Uh, it's all right. Don't worry about it. Um, doesn't matter. Let's talk about my shares. Um, what I'd like to do is get some money now <laughs> and, you know, put the rest away for long term and, you know, to live off. So how do we, how do we do that? Mr. Jennings, you forfeited your shares. I beg your pardon? What? Yeah, uh, here. Uh, dated, um, uh, four weeks ago. You surrendered the shares and stated to deliver only the envelope of personals. Don't you remember doing that, sir? No. Uh, I don't remember that. Because I, I didn't do that. Why would I do that? I wouldn't do that. It doesn't make sense. It's, it's, <laughs> this is uh, <clears throat> a mistake has been made. And it needs to be corrected. Well, I agree. It's a strange thing you did, but legal... Not strange. Strange is, you know... A little out of the ordinary, but still plausible. Giving away a hundred million dollars in shares in a Fortune 500 company for some uh, knickknacks isn't strange. It's uh, insane. No one would do that. This doesn't make sense. I mean, unless you think uh, this is a forty million dollar can of hairspray, uh, which is pink, and, and, uh, and uh, you know, this is a hundred million dollar book of matches. I mean, you know, I've been a lot of it for a couple of years. I don't. Is this back in style now? Is this are these hundred million dollar sunglasses? Am I missing something? <laughs> Okay, I'll look into it, but it, it's gonna take me some time. This is crazy, so I, I'm gonna make some phone calls. Okay. Hi, it's Michael Jennings. Tell me what's important, please. Yeah, just have him call me as soon as he gets in, okay? okay. Thank you. A mistake has been made here, all right? I'm not a trader, I'm an engineer. A reverse engineer, right? We already know that you accepted payment of classified government technology. Mike, that's called treason. In this country, people get fried for that one. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? In this country, when the FBI harasses you, you also get an attorney. Thanks very much. Not today, you don't. What the hell is this? This is what happens when the attorney general calls me and says that Michael Jennings' cooperation is a matter of national security. Look, first of all, that stuff isn't mine, okay? I'm mistaken. What is... Perfect fit. You were saying? Well, let me show you a few pieces of the puzzle that we're solving. William Decker, government physicist, weapons division. Three years ago, his project gets shelved. He didn't like that, so he sold his work. Classified work. Showed it to several major corporations. We think Rethrick bought it. Unfortunately, we can't link Rethrick to the sale because Decker died. Natural causes. Natural being gravity after a 140-foot fall out of his apartment building. So what does this have to do with me? These are patent applications filed this month. They show designs based on Decker's work. Look whose signature is on every one of those documents. Don't you get it? It's your name on those patents. Rethrick can claim he knows nothing about Decker or where the design came from. So what you need to do is tell us everything that you did for Rethrick right now. 
I can. You'd rather spend the rest of your life in prison protecting your so-called friend? Just help us and we can work with you. I can't. I can't. You wipe my memory. I don't remember. I'll tell you, whatever I know, I was set up, but I swear to God, you have to believe me. I don't remember what I did for the past three years. Wait. We figured Rethrick might have tried to wipe, so we'll try an extraction. You're not gonna say anything. I'm telling you, wasting time. <laughs> We're getting something here. Come on, come on. Shit. I got nothing. Hold on a second, I need a smoke. Boss. He won't mind.
right. You all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Here. <laughs> hey! Hey! Whoa! Watch it! <laughs> I know you talked to the federal agents. It's okay. It's, um, it's been worked out now. I just need to find out who who sent these items. Can you help me out? Um, they were sent three years ago. No, no, no. Remember, there was a mix-up. See, these weren't the ones that were sent three years ago. Somebody else sent these. I need to find out who that is. I need to talk to them. Oh, you're right. Replacements were sent a few weeks ago. Who sent it? Well, you did. That's you right here. See? 20 items. I'm going to need all your personal belongings. Michael Jennings died at three minutes after three. The government, left with no case, closed its investigation of Allcom. So you see, it's impossible that he escaped unless you changed something. I didn't. What were you doing exactly? I was eating pie. He left the attorney's office exactly when it predicted. The feds took him exactly when it predicted. But he didn't die like it predicted. Michael Jennings is not a super agent. He's an engineer. Yet somehow he managed to escape from a double locked room. How? Was it fate? No, fate was on our side. That means someone who knew changed something, and it wasn't me. And if it wasn't you, then who the... Has anyone checked the machine since Michael walked out of here? you can't go, you will miss the riches below. Yeah, I'm already missing my riches. 17, 44, 426, 37, 40, 22. Combination, code. Pass one. Liberty Savings Bank, please. What does that mean? You're saying the bank doesn't exist? The 
is comforting. Applications. Look whose signature is on every one of those documents. A mistake has been made here. I'm not a traitor. Decker died. Rethford can claim he knows nothing about Decker or where the design came from. You have to believe me. I don't remember what I did for the past three years. Michael. Michael. You're done. Hello. <sighs> Jesus, Shorty. You don't know how good it is to hear a familiar voice. <laughs> Michael. Hey, Michael. Listen, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jam, and I need you. All right. Um, meet me at Union Station at nine o'clock. I'll be there. One word about this hat, and I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Told you not to take that job, Mike. Come on, let's get a table. Okay. Injections? Yeah. Yeah. You'd have to do it that way, I guess. But of course, that's a chemical process. So? Well, you'd have some latent memories. Maybe that's what I'm seeing. Most likely. I mean, memories that made it through the wash, and then they got stirred up when the feds went into your head. Why would I have these things? Explain this. I set myself this junk instead of the money. Oh, brother. I don't know. But that's not the question you should be asking yourself. No? No, the question that you should be asking yourself is, why did you give up all that money? That's the most bizarre part of this whole thing. Ninety million dollars. Nobody changes that much in three years. <laughs> okay, my right, buddy. I want to figure out what you built. All right, let's work backwards. They told me that I was working on a design by someone named Decker. Decker? Yeah. William Decker? I think so. What I heard was he was working on something level five for the feds when they came in one day and they just shut him down. What was it? And the consensus was a laser. Why was that? What? Because Decker's drawing is called for a mirror and a lens. And the only thing that uses those is, is a lens, right? Or some kind of satellite camera that's coming from far. An optics expertise, so Followed it makes sense. Followed by 44. Um, the lens required perfect optics. Four. That's what the mirror and the trains come from. 26. Followed by 44. 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 Followed by 44.
huge. 37. I mean, word was that thing was going to cost 40. $500 billion. And the bonus number is 22. Who the hell is going to spend $500 billion just to see something? <laughs> what? There's no way I get out of that extraction room without the cigarettes and the glasses. I would have never gotten on that bus without the bus ticket. If I didn't have the diamond ring, I wouldn't have followed that kid to Reddy Grant. Right. I gave up that money just to make sure that I would pay attention to these items. Why? Because I know what you'd spend $500 billion to see. The future. He used a virus. The machine went down at 3.03 this afternoon. 3.03. Can you program around the virus? No, it's not that kind of virus. Come on, I'll show you. It's not in the software. It's in the hardware. He put a circuit somewhere in here. It's, it's like a poison pill. But you can find it, right? Yeah, I can. Then do it. Slight like change of plans. According to Mr. Stevens, we don't need Michael Jennings anymore. Look, if we know anything, we know that time travel's not possible. Einstein proved that. Right? Time travel, yes. But Einstein was very clear that he believed time viewing theoretically could be accomplished. Mike, 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 come on. Maybe we should just find Decker. I can't talk to Decker. Why not? He had an accident. An accident? Yeah, he, he uh, fell out of his bedroom window. He fell out of it? He fell out of his bedroom window. Ah, <laughs> I... Sure, that could happen. Oh, Jesus, wait a minute. We gotta get ourselves out of here. Shorty, listen to me. I think what happened was I used this thing, I saw my future, mm -hmm. and I saw what I needed to change it. But all I could get out of Allcom were these, uh, you know, innocuous items. Each item has to be used at a specific time, yes. in a specific place, to accomplish whatever it was I needed to get done. I mean, without the stuff in here, I'd already be dead. <laughs> yeah, well, it's too bad that you don't know what the rest of them are for. What? that door. Close it behind you. You understand? Go. Okay. Go. Go on. Oh, God, I hope that was a good thing to do. 
Where's your gun? He's got it. So, how are you, Mike? You? Why? Don't remember? Brought this on yourself, Mike. So, how does it feel knowing you're going to die?
So you're saying he designed his own escape? Mr. Attorney General, sir, we have no explanation. Because after looking at all the evidence, the only logical, albeit hard to accept conclusion, is that he was able to predict what was going to happen to him. These are memories extracted from Jennings before he fled. They don't seem to add up to anything. Gladys. That's all for today. We knew Decker was trying to design something, but when he sold his plans, he wasn't even halfway done. I don't understand. Decker was working at JPL on a laser-enhanced lens. He claimed the lens was powerful enough to see around the curvature of the universe. Decker believed that if you could see around a curve that went on forever, you would end up back where you started, looking at yourself. Except you're not looking back at yourself now, in the present. No, you are not. You're looking at the future. Can you imagine what'll happen if Jennings figures out what he's done and tries to profit from it? Any, any nation in the world would give him a king's ransom. Jennings won't do that. I was this close to him. He never lied. When he heard what he's being accused of, he was hurt and scared. Fine. Once you bring him in, I'll give him the Medal of Honor. That's if Rethrick doesn't find him first. You think he really saw the future? <sighs> That'd be something. Cafe Michelle? My name is Michael Jennings, and uh, I can't remember um, if I made a reservation there recently. Would you check that out for me? Thanks. I did. OK. Right, how many is it for? Oh, no, thank you. No, I'll, I'll be there. Last time you saw Michael? Yesterday morning. He was pulling an all nighter at his lap. Rachel, I'm sorry to have to be the one to tell you this. Michael left Allcom yesterday. Permanently. What? He finished his work. We erased his memory and he. No. He left. No, he promised me. He said he wasn't going to go through with it. You made a lot of money on this one, Rachel. He's 
said he didn't care about the money. So she doesn't know anything. He wouldn't leave without her. It's Michael. He'd be smart. We're missing something. As soon as she leaves for work, get in there. And make sure she can't go anywhere alone. I want to know what just happened. Bye, guys. Morning, Dr. Porter. Going somewhere? I'd, I'd rather watch from down here. Suit yourself. Look, we've been through the bathroom and tossed the rest of the apartment to zero. This is what I want you to do. Go back in the bathroom. Start turning left. Tell me what you see. The mirror. We've got him. She's supposed to meet him at Cafe Michel, 1 p.m. Well, let's make sure she does. Sit at that table right there. And the seat with your back to the window. Look. 
You can't remember me. No. I'm sorry. Cops. We can't go in. I'll have to wait for a clear shot. Maya, stall for time. I guess I thought you'd remember something. We've been together for three years. I don't know what to say. I'm really sorry. I'm trying. That's how he's doing this. Listen to me very carefully, Maya. This is what I want you to say. Michael. I can see you still have the envelope. That means it's working. I know you switched the personal items. I helped. You left me a note on a mirror. You left me a note on a mirror. I'm supposed to take something from you. I'm supposed to take something. Something I can use to something get to Stevens. Something I can use to get to Stevens. He's a man you worked with. He's a He's man you worked with. He's trying to fix the machine. He's trying to fix the machine. Take the swipe card. That's the swipe card for the campus. You're supposed to give that to me. Rachel wouldn't be hurt if you hesitated. She'd be impatient. Look, Michael, if you can't trust me right now, then we are lost. For good. Nice. I'd better get back. They'll get suspicious soon. Baseball team. What? What's my favorite baseball team? Who cares? That would be the Red Sox? <laughs> I think maybe we should go. Wait. <laughs> Section. Jennings bought the BMW from Southgate Auto on the internet. He had the key mailed to him four weeks ago. What's the color of this car? It isn't a car. Intercept them on six. 
Southgate BMW. Got it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's all for you anyway. And I, um, I brought you some clothes. Thought you might need them. Hope it's okay. Thank you. These are mine. You don't remember? No. 
You don't remember me, do you? Well, uh... These are for you. Sorry. I'm sorry. I just don't remember. I shouldn't have left. So you're saying he sent himself a different set of personal items, ones he'd selected after using the machine and nothing our security would flag. Everyday things. Combined with the power of foresight, transform Michael from engineer to escape artist. I don't know about you, but I'd like to return the favor. for you and I, before we were together, would I have done it? What did you say? That I wouldn't trade our time for anything. It's all we are, the sum of our experiences. Besides, some of the best things in life are total mistakes. You know, when I checked this envelope out of Reddy Grant, they told me I signed in 20 items, but there were only 19. I don't understand.
at the last one. Oh my god. That's the future. The machine predicts a war. We go to war to avert it. It predicts a plague. We herd all the sick together. Create a plague. Whatever future this predicts, we make happen. We give over control of our lives completely. I did this. Seeing the future will destroy us. If you show someone their future, they have no future. You take away the mystery. You take away hope. I have to go back. I have to destroy that machine. It's impossible. The campus is huge. There are hundreds of guards. Hey, I would not have given up the three years we had together unless I was absolutely sure I could get us 50 more. Okay. So how do we get in? We don't. You said everything was happening for a reason. And that includes me being here. So come on. Rachel. Another day at the most. I don't have many more places to look. Well, I guess you weren't as smart as you thought, Stevens. Hey, Jennings wouldn't find it any faster unless he knew where to look. We've got the feeds from mass transit. He could be anywhere by now. Except he's not running away. He could have given himself a way to disappear, but look what he gave himself instead. His all calm security pass. He's going back. Let's get a warrant to tap the phone and data lines coming out of all calm. Put some bodies on that campus. I want that machine. Jennings and the girl were spotted. What do you want me to do? same time. Ball bearings. Just down the hall from the metal detectors. Pull the guards off the Jennings lab. Let him slip in, think he's fooled us. Once he's fixed the machine, take him. door shouldn't be open. There's something wrong. They're expecting us. They closed this door behind us. Keep it shut. He's in. Confirmed. He's in. Great. Once we confirm he's at the machine, let's go in after him. I thought we were going to wait for him to come out. I can't wait. Whether it's Jennings or the machine, I don't care. As long as I get one of them, let's go. Wait, wait, what are you doing? Smashing the lock. Hold on a second. 
We can't just smash the thing. They'll still be able to get in. We gotta jam the outside reader. so Jimmy wouldn't use it against me. Then you can fix it, right? Now, where would I have planted that bug? Maybe on one of the motherboards. Oh, well, we won't be needing this, okay? You're dangerous with that thing. You must have given yourself something to help you find it. I don't know. What it would be, the only things left are the bullet and uh, this. Crossword? Yeah. Look at this. 12 down. Maybe it's Circuit diagram? Wouldn't have put it in the primary path. Twelve down. Okay, Corridor 3, sub-level A, Jennings Lab. Alright, let's put this thing to good use. One last time. Let's get us out of here. It's in the lab. It's the catwalk. Look, I've changed my future before we're using this thing. I can do it again.
We don't have any more time. We gotta destroy this before they get to it. Reprogram the door to Jennings' lab, please. Now. He must have done something to the controller. How are we gonna get out of here, Michael? I don't know. Judge too soon. They went out through the vent. Spread out and find them. off all the exits to the lab. the gun. Yeah. <laughs> 
Looks like Michael's got a date on the catwalks. Let's make sure he makes it. Take the catwalk. I know. We won't. I promise. Come on. Let's go. Michael! Rachel. What are you doing? Go, go. I'll distract him. Go, please. No. Listen to me. This is my debt. I built this machine. I have to pay for it. No, you come with me now. You promised you'd change your fate. Please, we don't have time. If you love me, if you care about me, go. Have a good life. Remember me. Damn you! Jimmy! You wanna kill me? Come do it yourself! Here I am! You want me? Come get me! Hey, Jimmy. Hi, Mike. Looks like this is it, huh? Yeah, it is, Mike. You only have yourself to blame. That's a lie. You can't change your fate, Mike. You're gonna die today. Maybe. But you're not gonna kill me. That's right, Mike. I've seen the future.
Rotherick has Jennings. Retire him. What? We have the machine. We can't risk its creator falling into the wrong hands. Come on. Don't blame me. You and Michael would have lived happily ever after, no memory wipe. He's one who saw something he didn't like. He's one who decided he wanted to stop the program. Look at it this way. You did change the future, Michael. Before you interfered, you both would have lived. We would still be friends instead of ending up like this. It wasn't meant to be. Giving up so easy. Don't you believe in second chances? To tell you the truth, I do. Any records, any papers? Explosion destroyed everything. Guess we don't get the machine, do we? Any 
sign of Jennings? Uh, no. Um, I'm afraid it didn't make it. What was Shorty thinking, starting a nursery? I mean, these plants are on life support. What do you mean? Really? He told me he had a green thumb. <laughs> Gangrene is more like it. Lucky for Shorty, I'm a biologist. Well, lucky for both of us, since I failed biology, and I'm no help to either one of you. So you say. <clears throat> Too bad, though, because um, I'm looking for a partner for a startup company. Really? Mm-hmm. Doing what? I want to save the world. Oh. Don't think I'm your guy. But uh, would you settle for someone who uh, wants to help you change it? Mm, okay. Good. So how does it end for us, Michael? I mean, what's in our future? You know, I don't know. I kind of like it that way. <laughs> I do know one thing. What's that? I never want to forget anything ever again. Bring it up, bring it up! The bird man cometh! Shorty! Dinner! <laughs> you found them! Yes, I did. Who does everything for everybody around you here? You do. You're right. You are my hero. Thank you very much. You hear that? I'm a hero. This is great. I think I remember. Are those our birds? Yes, of course they are. We bought them together. Oh, you remember the birds. Well done. You could see into the future, and all you remember are, are Polly and Tweety over there. Why don't you remember something that would make us rich, Tom I? Wait a second. What is it? I think there was something else. No, no, no. The envelope's empty. Don't worry about it. Hold on. I'm working back right here. If you only look where you can't go, you will miss the riches below. I must have known you would never get rid of these birds, right? Of course not. They're family. So I knew this would be here. What only looks where it can't go? Cage bird. You will miss the riches below. The riches below. What is that? Well, that's a oh. $90 million lottery ticket. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. It's $90 minute. million. Nice. Is what that is. Yes, I'm <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> no! Wait a minute. Hold on. What are you doing? You know what? I think now's probably a good time to discuss my commission. Yeah, 33%. I, I thought it was five. No, 33%. 33%? You're right. We had to give it five. It was found on my credit card. I'll go. I'll do that. I'm going to ask you.